Earlier, we have published several scripts for 3D data comparison videos, where you can quickly convert your data from an Excel file into many different type of animations. Today we'll share a script that can be used with any type of model of your choice. You can use any object or download any number of models from the internet and use our script to generate a comparison video with those models. So this is going to be extremely helpful and flexible, and for the time being we're sharing this script only with our members. So first we need to prepare our data in this Excel format, here we have the gold reserve for various different countries. You can add many more rows here if you need, but please remember that this third column contains our primary data, so it should be a numerical value. You can add the actual display text in this column, which will be displayed with the data model, and then you can also add some additional text to be displayed. Finally you can add the location of a display picture, for each of the data, or you can even leave this as blank, if you don't want to add a picture. If you want to use this Excel directly, you need to first run this first script, in order to install these two Python modules into Blender, which is explained in our previous tutorials. Or you can just convert this Excel file into a CSV file, you don't need to install any third-party modules in that case. In the Save As dialog box, you need to select the comma delimited CSV option and save the file after accepting all these warnings, so we'll get a CSV file. Now within Blender, you have to first add an object, which is relevant for your data comparison. Since we are working on gold reserves, we have created this pile of gold bars as our model object, and this object should remain under a particular collection like this. And remember that this collection should not contain any other object. Now let's hide this object in the viewport and also in the render. And then we need to open a text editor from here. Now click on the new button. And this is where we need to paste our script. We have shared this script with all our existing members. You need to use the same collection name here that contains your model object. You can use any name you like for this collection. Then the input Excel or the input CSV file location should be mentioned here. And two more files you need to use, which you'll find in our download package. Then we have the column numbers here, you can change them if needed, and you can also customize the look and feel of the video, like the speed and other things, by changing these fields as you may need. Now we can run the script from here, and once it is successfully executed, we can switch back to our viewport. The script will take care of everything, like all the animations and the camera movements, and it will also add a suitable background and lighting. Now we can render the scene and get an output like this. You can watch our previous tutorials to know more on how to run these scripts and how to resolve some common problems. If you are a member of this channel, you already have the basic knowledge on our scripts, so we skip those common parts. And instead of a single model, you can even use a set of multiple objects or a separate model for each of your data. These objects should be placed under a single collection like before, and they must be named in a sequential manner, like 1, 2, 3, 4, as you can see that we have done here. Then we have to hide this model collection entirely, but please remember to highlight the scene collection before we execute the script, otherwise everything may get added to this hidden collection, which we need to avoid. Now we'll again go to the text editor and execute the same script like before, but let me draw your attention to one field called Use Solver Option. You may need to change this option to true in some cases. For some complex models, you may get a wrong result, which you can solve by changing this to true. But remember that it will take much more time to render if you turn it to true, although the result will be very perfect. Once the execution is complete, we can go back to the viewport. The script will take care of everything for you. Here we are comparing the nutrition value of some common fruits and their source or origin. This is how we have prepared our Excel for various types of fruits for this composition, along with some text fields that will be displayed with the data. It will look like this after we render the scene. For a quick render, as well as a perfect result, I suggest you to first set the solver option as false and render the scene. Then check your image sequence and delete the incorrect ones, then set the solver option as true and render the sequence again so that only the missing pieces are rendered. We'll also integrate this script into our 3D data visualizer add-on, which is much more simpler to run. So I hope you like this tutorial, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.